Hey everyone, and um, well, welcome to a very long overdue video. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother going into why's, why not, and, and and such as to where I've been, um, purely because well, there's no reason other than living with your parents and whatnot doesn't give you much time to get a free minute to film videos because. Well, everybody laughs at you for talking to yourself. Um, so, what have I been up to? Well, um, I have been modelling, slowly but surely. I've been modelling. Um, obviously not as active putting videos up, so for those of you who maybe only follow my work on here, or will see my work on here, then you obviously wouldn't have seen as much as before. Um, so I apologise for that if you're bothered, if not, fair play. Um, so, in the year and a bit since I had to move back to my parents, started a new job, um, I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, six kits. So six kits in a year and a bit, a bit slower than I was usually doing, but I don't know, I'm happy with all of them. So that's the important thing. So I finished an Abrams, which is, there's a video up on YouTube. I finished a trumpeter JG SDF Japanese Grand Self Defense Force Type 87 RCV. It's a reconnaissance vehicle, a wheeled thing. There's a video of that on YouTube, so go and check out my channel if you want to see it. There's also a JG SDF uh, light armored vehicle by Tamiya. Again. Also a video on YouTube there, just of the, the final reveal, so you can go and have a look at that if you so wish. I also finished, and I'll show you it quickly, and then I, I have got photos, and I need to take some more and put, up, put a final reveal video, but I did finish this one a little while ago, but uh, just haven't got around to actually putting it up on YouTube yet, which is... This is the Meng T90A. Not the one with the dozer blade. Um, finished with Vallejo colours, um, and then given a. Hopefully this will come out without being. Given a nice dusty finish. I'll I'll put a proper video of this up, so um, keep an eye out for that. But uh, that's another kit that's finished. Really nice kit. Went together. Very well, as we've come to expect from main kits, the tracks were cement free. Yeah, cement cement free tracks, workable, really nice, really easy to work with. They were good. Um, I also finished, but I haven't finished the diorama for them, which is why they're not up for it. But the actual models for the diorama are finished, bar some environmental weathering to tie them to the diorama. Is I. Uh, Tamiya Sharon Firefly, which is the Tasca slash Asuka kit uh, reboxed by Tamiya, the one that comes with the new uh, marching British infantry set, and I put a universal carrier on there as well, so it's up on the shelf. I'm not bothering getting it down, but when that is eventually finished, or if I decide you know, to just get rid of the diorama and um, and finish weathering them, then I'll put a video up. So keep an eye out for that. Bulk of this update is gonna be. Just a quick show of what I'm currently working on, which is the uh, Russian 152mm howitzer from Trumpeter, the 2S19. And, sorry, there's my hair on the model there. <laughs> uh, and just a quick update for this. And then this, will, this video will also be on YouTube, obviously, but it will also be in the build thread in the From Russia With Love group build section of the International Scale Modeler Forum, which is what this builds for. Um, that group build, if you're interested, is still running until the end of April, I believe. Uh, we'll go on the forum and double check that. Um, and it's basically anything Russian, as long as it was built by Russia and used by Russia. That's the criteria. It could be civilian, could build a ladder for all you wanted. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of people doing a lot of aircraft, um, a lot of people doing World War II Russian armour, um, less modern stuff actually. So. 
so the kit went together nicely. It's very detailed, there's a lot of small parts on it. As I found with some of the new trumpeter stuff, once it's there you can see why it's in such small parts, however it's perhaps somewhat unnecessary. I speak from experience having built the Meng T90 which shares the majority of parts of a lower hull with the 2S19 um, and some areas were simplified on the Meng kit uh, more than the Trumpeter kit but for no detriment to enjoyability or final detail. If anything it looks better for being simpler and has the advantage of being easier to build. Uh, there was a few bits where I was just kind of building this going, why is this in 20 million parts when it could be in three? Um, however, it's a very nice kit. Went together very well, it's very detailed. There's some nice photo etch for some walkway bits on the top of the turret um, and such like. Could have maybe done with a metal barrel, but nah, there you go. Um, kit tracks are still not built. I was looking to see on the shelf there, but they're not built yet, so um so yeah let's have a... this is this is what I'm going for. Three tone sand green and black um which is gonna be similar to the T ninety there. because um, although this is for the group build it will go toward my SPGs and MP MBT collection which if you don't know uh, if you're new to the channel is basically an attempt for me to collect the kind of modern SPG and the modern MBT from all nations where there are models. Um, as far as I know, I think I've got everything. I think there's two I don't have. I don't have a don't have a ZTZ99, the Chinese main battle tank. Um, until recently, I didn't have their SPG because there was no model for it, the PLZ05. However, men have released one. I do have it, so I now need to get the Chinese MBT to go with it. And what do I also know? There's something else I don't have. I don't have the Czech main battle tank, which is the T72 M4CZ or something or other. Trumpeter now have a model. Again, there was no model for it. Trumpeter now have a model for it. Um, but it's very expensive for what is effectively a T72. So that's one that I'll be getting bought anytime soon. Because it, it will go with my Dana, which you can see the parts of on the shelf, <laughs> uh, which is the Hobby Boss 152mm Dana 8 wheeled self propelled thing. That's for another day. So, back to this. Go with the 3-tone, matches that. Um, and so, excuse the lighting, it's pretty shoddy. I'll maybe stick some photos on the end of here. And this is kind of where we are now. Uh, the side skirts are just attached temporarily with blue tack so I could get the camel to line up. Um, it's a pretty hefty beast. Um, it goes up and down. Um, these are the walkways, which will look really good with a nice wash to darken down the things. They are actually raised as well, which is quite cool. Um, travel lock moves, turret moves. Um, wheels are behind me, I'll not bother showing them, they're just wheels, so they're painted green. Colours were Valero 17, Model Air 17, Russian green. Then subsequently lightened with somewhere there is. Oh, uh, what are we? It's, uh, 23, which is for the little layer hemp. So I lightened it a little bit with that, lightened the green in places, then lightened it with more hemp, lightened the green again. So it's got two lots of highlighting on there. The sandy kind of colours are. Sand yellow, which is 028, the model layer I've been using. Sand yellow. I'm about to highlight that with 075 sand ivory, which is what I used as the pure sand on the T90. But on this, I'm going to use that as a highlight color, and hopefully, it'll get me back to a similar kind of color. Um, after that, all that remains will be to do the relatively minor bits of black camouflage, and then that would be the camouflage when finished. It's quite light. The green in the pictures, although I call it light green, is very dark, but that could just be because they're kind of arty kind of drawings. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of figure out 
what might be a good filter to stick on this to help tone it down a little bit. Um, but I feel sure under weathering and such, pin washes and things, the whole thing will, will darken slightly anyway. So I'm kind of going with a not exaggerated but a relatively bright highlighting so that under the weathering you hopefully still get a sense of depth in the paint. We'll see, it might not work, but we've got to try, right? Yeah. <laughs> 